Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. My name is Caroline. I am currently a senior at Columbia University. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you guys on a walking tour of New York City. So specifically by Morningside Heights, we're gonna get brunch and then go to H Mart and just hit up some popular locations around campus. And in the afternoon, we're gonna to go to the Guggenheim on the east side of Manhattan, followed by a nice stroll to the Met and Central Park. So buckle up and enjoy the ride. Hey everyone! Right now I'm on my way to brunch with Elaine. We're going to Amity Hall Uptown, which is a little bit past the Hungarian pastry shop. FYI, I filmed this over the summer of 2021, so before classes started, this was upperclassmen move-in day, but I actually moved in early, around a week early, to help with orientation. Hi. I'm leaving from Broadway Hall, which is located on 114th Street and Broadway. I'll be heading over to Amsterdam Avenue, and I'll show you a few popular landmarks along the way. Morningside Heights and Harlem and Washington Heights, where Columbia is, is pretty high up in Manhattan. Just for reference, NYU is located below 10th Street and K-Town is around 31st to 33rd Street. The Morningside campus is centralized at 116th Street and then the medical campus for Columbia is around 168th Street, so even higher up. Here we're walking past a bunch of sorority and fraternity houses and also other special interest communities that live in brownstones. You can see in front of us is actually the Mount Sinai Morningside Hospital. It used to be called St. Luke's, but I think recently it got changed to, the name got changed to Morningside. We're heading down to 113th and then 112th Street. This is the cathedral where a lot of art humanities professors take their students to visit as a field trip to look at the Gothic architecture. This is 111th Street in Amsterdam on the west side of Manhattan. Here we are at the Hungarian pastry shop. It's a really well-known pastry shop, <laughs> as the name suggests. There's really delicious cakes and pies and coffee, and I think it's known for not having Wi-Fi, so a lot of writers and students just sit in there and write and study. Uh, people are sitting outside because of COVID, but this was, again, the summer of 2021. Okay, I had uh, lunch with my mom and my sister in here once. The waiter actually knew how to speak Chinese. Um, he wasn't Chinese, but <laughs> I think he like studied abroad there once, or he, he lived there for a while. So that was really cool. So I'm five minutes early. So I'm just gonna wait for my friend over here. It says 951 steps to Columbia. Maybe I should actually count. Oh my god, it has Nutella, and yes. is that jam on the side? Yeah. We're just talking about how this Marty got into a dual oh degree <laughs> in the International Affairs School, right? Yeah. She's so smart, oh my, oh my god. And then now we're gonna pan over to my mushroom scramble. I got a salad on the side and some toast, and we're gonna enjoy. After our delicious brunch, we decided to take a stroll down Broadway. We we're passing by Absolute Bagels. It's a really popular bagel spot, but I've actually never gotten anything from it. Then we're gonna head to H Mart to get some groceries. This is a really nice and convenient place to get Asian snacks and foods and drinks. It's also just super close to campus. A pro tip is that whenever you go shopping in New York City, bring your own grocery bag or a reusable bag just to make life easier for yourself because stores do charge extra for disposable bags. Now a couple streets up at 112th Street and Broadway, we are here at Orent, or Orent. It's a coffee shop, it smells so good inside. We're just getting a couple of bags of roasted coffee beans, and then we're gonna head over to the Guggenheim. Oh, it smells really good. Okay, over there is Barnard. Right now I'm walking over to the bus stop on 122nd. We're gonna go to the Guggenheim. This is the bus going downtown. I think I was standing on the wrong side of the road. Oh, and behind me you can see people are pushing blue bins from storage to their to their residence hall. So I'm gonna wait for the bus. 
You may or may not be wondering why I'm taking the bus instead of the subway, because usually New York City subway is the way to go. But if you want to go from the Upper West Side to the Upper East Side, taking the Crosstown bus is actually a lot faster. The subway doesn't cross Central Park, which divides the West and East Sides, only the bus does. We've made it to the Guggenheim Museum. The architecture of this building was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, who's this quintessential American architect. And inside there were so many collections of beautiful and famous artworks. This is by Picasso. And a huge draw to this museum is not just the artwork, but it's actually the structure of the building itself. We're basically walking in concentric spirals and circles where there's audio-visual stimulation and it's a really unique and honestly quite relaxing experience. You'll see people from all over the world come and visit the museum because it's such a hot tourist destination. We spent a good couple hours here and I was really fortunate that we came to visit after I took my art humanities class. Um, it's a core class at Columbia and because of that, I was able to recognize some of the artists and some of their paintings and even guess who the artist of the painting was just based on the distinct styles. Here is the gift shop. It's always a fun way to end a museum visit. And then afterwards, we decided to take a stroll. Here's the Met. This is pretty close to the Guggenheim, so we just walked here. This is where all those XOXO Gossip Girl captions are posted. I think we're just gonna sit on the steps though. We're not gonna go in. Because it closes soon. <laughs> this reminds me of the Beatles. And another thing is that New York City pigeons are not afraid of humans at all. Afterwards, we continued walking back to yeah. campus and we cut through Central Park. There? So this is a nice and sunny day. It was actually super hot. Wear sunscreen, wear sunglasses, wear a hat. Um, the sun looks really beautiful here though. So yeah, this is the end of our walking tour of New York City. I hope you enjoyed this nice and relaxing, chill summer day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. P.S. Look at this really cool dragonfly. Woo!